Welcome to SNH Talking Time. Are you Perlis? I am Catherine. It's been a while, guys. Today we are going to talk about International Day of Friendship, which is on the 30th of July. The day is designated by the United Nations. The main purpose of the International Day of Friendship is to define a culture of peace as a set of values, attitudes. And behaviors that reject violence and work to prevent conflict and address the root causes of its problem. Our world is faced by many challenges, crises, and forces of division, such as poverty, violent violations of human rights that undermine peace, security, development, and social harmony among the peoples of the world. To address these crises and challenges, their root causes must be addressed by promoting and defending the common spirit of human solidarity. This spirit takes many forms, the simplest of which is friendship. By maintaining friendships and developing strong bonds of trust, we can contribute to the fundamental shifts sorely needed to achieve lasting stability, with a safety net that protects us, protects us all, and inspire patience for a better world, a world where all people are united for a greater good. Now let's, let's welcome, welcome Dr. Hong's speech. Distinguished guests, dear friends, ladies and gentlemen, good day. Since ancient times, humanity has experienced a great deal of suffering and pain caused by wars. People around the world yearn for a peaceful and stable living environment. The United Nations has designated May 16th as the International Day of Living Together in Peace. Emphasizing that the international community should strive to promote peace, tolerance, inclusion, understanding, and unity, people are encouraged to live and act together, to face differences and diversity with open minds, to show mutual respect and appreciation, and to work together to build a peaceful, harmonious, and sustainable world. Chaos and disorder are continually arising around the world as a result of epidemics, wars, human rights violations, and other natural and man-made disasters. This, in turn, leads to extreme imbalances in politics, the economy, society, food, energy, population, and the environment. The vicious cycle. Puts all humanity on the brink of a nearly irreparable catastrophe. At its core, this can be attributed to the five poisons of the human heart, especially the human desire for personal gain. The Declaration on the Culture of Peace expands on UNESCO's ideals, stating that since wars begin in the minds of men, it is in the minds of men. That the defenses of peace must be constructed to achieve peaceful coexistence among diverse nations worldwide. We must first start with ourselves and inspire more people to embrace the common ideals and take actions. Everyone must first establish in a peace, which can then be externalized and lead to peaceful coexistence with others. Therefore, each global citizen must have the ability to recognize, accept, listen to, acknowledge, respect, and appreciate themselves and others. Then we can further establish harmonious interpersonal relationships and expand the consensus for peace across the planet, inspiring nations to cooperate to create world peace. Everyone has an excellent heart within them, which is guided by the innate gift of conscience. Excellent refers to 
kindness, and goodness, as well as innate qualities that we possess by nature. Conscience enables one to think and act for the common good, and guides one to discern right from wrong, true from false, and good from bad. By quietly listening to our conscience and seeing, understanding, examining, and accepting ourselves, we can learn to respect, appreciate, and cherish ourselves. The operation of our conscience is all-encompassing. It also guides each person to embrace and accept others with an altruistic and expansive mindset, to share resources willingly with others, to unite the human family, and to protect and maintain harmony between humanity and the environment. Therefore, by following their conscience, global citizens can empathize with and care for one another and collaborate with gratitude. When everyone can act conscientiously at work, in their daily interactions, and when treating and using environmental resources, we can unite and build a peaceful, harmonious, and sustainable world. Conscience is the cornerstone of peace, and peace is the shared aspiration of humanity. The fate of the earth not only rests in the conscience of world leaders, but also in the conscience of every global citizen, which serves as a rudder steering the destiny of the world. On September 25, 1999, I proclaim the love of the world a declaration of peace and have since led the Love of the World Cultural Guru Group to visit various countries around the globe, promoting the culture of peace with love and conscience. I also invited heads of state and leaders from all walks of life to ring the bell of world peace and love, pledging peace for the sustainable development of the earth. I believe that the continuous actions to realize the hopes for peace will bring lasting peace to the world. Let us encourage one another to cultivate the ability to maintain conscience and love to promote global solidarity with love and conscience, and to achieve peace and sustainability through our genuine hopes and actions. On the International Day of Living Together in Peace 2023, let us embark on a new and peaceful future together. I wish everyone peace of mind and body. I wish the world eternal peace and sustainability. The international community should strive to promote peace, tolerance, inclusion, understanding, and unity. People are encouraged to live and act together, to face differences and diversity with open minds, to show mutual respect and appreciation, and, work, and to work together to build a peaceful, harmonious, and sustainable world. According to myself, I think this is the real explanation of friendship. We all need to first serve ourselves, then respect others. Thank you for watching our video. Remember to subscribe, like, and share our video. And also, don't forget to comment down, down below our, our video to tell about the story of Conscience. See you next time. Bye.